This course examines the U.S. civil rights movement from the vantage point of women, considering their involvement in legal campaigns and political struggles, as well as the ways in which the civil rights movement impacted women's condition and status and identity. Often when people think about the civil rights movement, they think about the 1950s and 60s, the Montgomery bus boycott, the sit-ins, Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. I'm going to take what historians term a long civil rights movement perspective. So we will start with the late 19th century and work our way through the 20th century. This will allow us to look at the origins of some of the formal civil rights organizations. It will allow us to look at an earlier anti-lynching movement and its relationship to the later modern civil rights movement. And it will allow us to look at the various legal campaigns that really set the changed the definitions of citizenship and rights and set the stage for the modern civil rights movement. We also will extend past the 1950s and 60s to look at how movements like reproductive rights movement and the environmental justice movement uh, grew out of and were influenced by the civil rights movement. Throughout the course, we will think about various historians' debates about the civil rights movement, and we will also think about issues that animate social movement theorists and political activists alike. How do people create commitments and sustain commitments over a long period of time to a political movement? How do we assess the strengths and weaknesses of various kinds of formal political organizations? And how do people with few resources and no vote maximize their political influence? These are some of the issues that we'll take up during the course of the semester. In addition, we will look at not just how the civil rights movement altered the status of African Americans, but how the civil rights movement actually changed the definition of rights and citizenship for all Americans, and really for many people around the globe as well. There are many ways that you uh, might come to an interest in this course and many ways that you might think your way through the course. Perhaps you just like history, and this is a new historical narrative that you'd like to know. Perhaps you are excited about the possibility of being able to get your hands on some historical documents and work through them and learn how historians analyze them. Perhaps you're in, you are a political activist and you want to see what you can learn from earlier movements and earlier kinds of organizations. There will be various kinds of ways that you can interact with the course and think your way through the issues that we're doing. So what do we do every week in the course? Uh, we'll begin each week with an overview. I'll give you a short video overviewing the week. And then you'll have a list of keywords, terms, organizations, people, and a set of web resources to use to learn about those. That way we'll all begin on a kind of even ground. You already know some U.S. history. You know nothing about U.S. history. We'll all have a kind of even ground when we get to the videos. There'll be about two hours worth of lectures uh, each week, broken up into small segments. And then there'll also be short videos talking about the readings and helping you analyze some of the sources. There'll be quizzes for self-diagnosis uh, and also papers that you'll write that'll be peer-reviewed. And one of the important things about the course will be the opportunity to participate in a discussion forum with wide ranges of people of different expertise and experience and talk about history, analyze the documents together, or if you wish, think about the contemporary political implications of what we're doing. Those discussion forums will be monitored and occasionally I'll interject into them a video or something that helps us think through some of the issues that you raise. This is a good opportunity to think about history, to think about how historians work, and to think about issues about citizenship and rights which are still important to all of us around the globe.